You're saying that Iran could be looking for an off-ramp here. The United States has said time and time again they don't want to see escalation in the region. So how valid do you think the claims are, or the fears rather, of a wider Middle East regional war? I think they're very valid, Brittany. I think the risks are very high. Certainly nobody wants a war. Uh, but miscalculation presents uh, a constant fear uh, of escalation. And given Iran's position, you know, given the, the reasons I've laid out for why they may feel compelled to retaliate, even with the escalatory risks, I mean, everyone's in a very precarious position right now. The United States doesn't want to get dragged into a war, but if Israel gets attacked directly, as it did in April, the U.S. will be obliged to defend Israel. If Israel then chooses to retaliate against Iran, uh, after some kind of direct attack, the United States will also feel compelled to provide a degree of support. So there is, and then of course Hezbollah, Hezbollah, Iran's ally in Lebanon could very well be involved and that could trigger a war on Israel's northern border. So even if no specific actor intends to start a conflict, there's a very pronounced risk that a conflict could break out and escalate through miscalculation or through actors being compelled to undertake action that they normally wouldn't choose to do. There's certain, it's certainly a developing situation, but what specifically are you looking out for next? And when it comes to these negotiations, what rhetoric coming out of them could you hear that would make you believe that escalations will tamp down? Well, I think we should temper our expectations for today and for tomorrow. From what I've seen, there are negotiators, Israeli negotiators who are planning on staying in Doha into tomorrow, into Friday. Uh, that would suggest the negotiations are making some kind of progress. I would expect very limited progress. I would expect these discussions to produce some kind of new proposal, which the United States can then send to Hamas. Hamas will then probably take several days to consider those proposals uh, before issuing a response. So pro progress at this point could be incremental, but even incremental process suggests the possibility of de-escalation and will likely continue to uh, allow Iran to delay its response against Israel. If there's a sign that talks have failed, if there is clear rhetoric from Israel or Hamas that they don't see any deal coming out of these negotiations, then the escalatory risk could very well increase. And at that point, I would look very closely at what the United States is doing. If the U.S. starts to reposition its assets, if President Biden takes a posture that suggests a security crisis might be breaking out, if the Israeli leadership uh, go on higher alert if they start indicating to their civilian population that an attack could be forthcoming, then I would be more concerned and I would expect the Iranian, Iranian retaliation to be more likely and more imminent.